Sean Meredith. Hi, everybody. I'm Sean. And this is a collection of my grade two and three stories from my elementary school. Uh, if I could shrink and still be me, I'd shinny up a daisy tree and look out over blade to watch the jungle creatures pass. I'd be among a million ants, bumblebees and spotted pants, bugs playing with stripes, fed bugs with bugs like pipes. If jet mosquitoes zoomed overhead, I'd scramble down to the flower bed, hitch a kind of a ride and drive for a swim at the dewdrop side. All right, this is a picture I really thought it was really cool. It's about me being in the bus heading to the mall in a submarine. <laughs> this is what my brother wrote, actually. And he drew it as well. Great <laughs> Brad is a curious cat with a long, tall hat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, giving up something important can make a person feel happy, nice, happy, friendly. Uh, here's what happened. I love that person. His name is Ryan. He was my best friend. I was after school. We would play with him, but one day he moved away. <laughs> <laughs> I was on giving. <laughs> the shiny ice cubes were like slippery frogs out of the ice box. This is supposed to be haiku, by the way. <laughs> uh, this, remember when you guys had to make the crayon stuff, you had to scratch out the letters? This was made for my mother. However, on the back side of this, it's um, happy birthday, Mom, in French. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. That was not done great, too. I don't know why. Uh, this is how to catch a fish. I just want to make an, the last part is the really interesting part. Um, and so the last way to catch a fish is not that great, is my dad's way. All you have to do is call fishy, fishy, come to me. <laughs> then when he comes to you, hit him on the head with a hammer. <laughs> Love is not fattening, love is staying home, love is staying up late, love is watching TV all day, love is having a birthday party, love is getting Valentine's cards, love is having a mom and dad, love is leaving, learning stuff, love is growing up, love is getting to do art, love is being a kid. <laughs> as far as I know, I actually made this. It is signed, however, there's signatures on the back. And laminated. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's like kids in my classroom, I guess. So. This was a really scary monster, so it illustrates the most horrifying monster your imagination can create. <laughs> that, that was really scary to me. Great too. Seven-year-old, that's terrifying. <laughs> Uh, th <laughs> this is a, a possum stew recipe. <laughs> this is supposed to mean in German? Uh, and these are directions. You <laughs> use kilograms of everything, and you put it in a big pot, and then you put it on the stove. <laughs> this is about snowflakes using the first letter of every word uh, of, the, of the whole. Anyway, it's really long. I've read it. It's no way I can get it under 20 seconds, but kittens are frisky. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. And this was also added on with a piece of tape there. <laughs> this is a picture of me playing soccer. The whole point of the story is we play soccer, shake hands, I don't score a goal, and then the team wins. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in the back side. <laughs> but they shook my hand, so. I wrote that down. This is Take Me Out of the Ball Game. Once upon a time, there were three boys at a baseball game, and one of the boys said, I want to go home now. He said, We don't too well. I'm not, don't you want to see the end of the game? 
No, if we do, oh, we all go, then the game ended, and we just ended the story. <laughs> all right, uh, if I could be a teacher for a day, I would give all the kids homework and let them bug the classrooms and do activities all through school and let them take out a lot of books. <laughs> Uh, transportation. In the future, there could be a car that the car is a microphone. You just say something in it, it will do it. It also has electric radio. Also, it would have electric window shutting and closing. In the car, there's a button that if you press it, the car can turn into a van. It has a transmitter. <laughs> When I look up and see the stars and I, I wonder if there are aliens up there, question <laughs> mark. I wonder if there's elephants on the stars, are they swimming, are there swimming pools on the stars? Do they have pets and what do they feed their pets? Sign <laughs> my full name. <laughs> this is Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> I just like that the pterodactyl's on the nose. <laughs> I loved dinosaurs when I was a kid. I had no depth perception at all. <laughs> Still don't. <laughs> but next is a poem here. So Tyrannosaurus Rex eats. Oh, sorry. Uh, he's a tyrant lizard. He always makes big lizards. Every time he stamps his foot in, it makes a gizzard. In the gizzard, there's a yummy, yummy lizard. Every time he turns his head, he thinks he's a wicked wizard. <laughs> 